This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Next time you get into a relationship, viewers, keep it secret. Greetings and salutations, viewers, while we're back here with another episode of Grandia. The last episode, Fina and Justin were chosen to be the brave couple. And as soon as we did, everyone became a couple. It's kind of weird. Found out that the first people to become a couple are chosen the brave couple, and they're chosen to be sacrificed to a freaking dragon. So now we got to beat this thing before we can get off the island. Can we do it by ourselves? Will Sue and Gadwin be able to come in? Let's find out. Anyway, if we go over here, we get a health weed. All right. So yeah, it's just uh, Sue. Oh, sorry. It's just Justin and Fina for now. Until we get attacked by flames. Uh oh. Anyway, we got a new enemy here. These are lost souls. Uh, if you have rain cloud staffs at this point, which you probably won't if, by fighting this first enemy, you want to maybe equip those with Justin. With uh, Fina, you might want to equip her with that Azure knife from town. I didn't want to spend the money because it's not that big of a deal, but if you're going to have her physically attack, maybe the knife would do more damage here because uh, lost souls have 75 HP, 40 experience drop, 91 gold. Uh, they are weak to uh, wind, water, and ice. So if you've got Cackle or Crackle, will be very good here. Or like I said, if you have Azure Knife, which is uh, water elemental. Um, they also drop Fire Charms, which is the plus four to fire, since a lot of things do that here. Um, other than that, there's not much to them that I can think about. Um, yeah, if you cast like Blizzard, you'll finish them off really quickly. So yeah. Uh, so let's Crackle and then we'll hit the other guy. Oh, power of ice. Yeah, look at all that damage, Tim. See my power. And we're right next to a heal spot, so it's not like I can just run back and get my MP back, so. Yeah, see, pretty easy. <laughs> what a finch. Well, if you don't have Crackle or Blizzard here, you might have some, a little bit of trouble, I guess. So, I need to get my uh, wind element up before we fight the boss though. Anyway, gained a level for Justin. Uh, he, yeah, he's right on the cusp. That's why I didn't do any more grinding for money off screen. So, uh, cause I could have bought like, uh, I did decide to buy the, the fire armor off screen for the characters, even though they probably really don't need it here, but I didn't want to buy like the Azure knife or anything like that. So I bought the dragon vest that give you fire resistance. And there is a stash stash spot as well as a um, save point here for those who, you know, because this is kind of one of those situations where you kind of just get flung here. You so you're probably like, uh oh, I'm gonna escape from this. You know, this is kind of a precarious situation, but nah, it's not that bad actually, especially by yourself. Anyway, if we go over here, get ourselves the final mana egg of this disc. Anyway, yeah, this game has multiple discs. But, uh oh, actual fire is attacking us. This is what you get for turning your back on it. Hey, we find ourselves with Hot Dog. Yeah, these guys are, well, obviously Fire Elemental, but Fire Dog, or Hot Dogs, they have 164 HP, 45 experience drop, 100 gold. Uh, they are weak to wind, and they're very weak to water and ice, and they're also weak to forest, although I don't think there's actually any forest abilities. They are immune to fire, so no fire spells. They're resistant to boom and electricity, so just stick with water or blizzard on them. Uh, I forgot to mention on the Lost Souls, uh, they are resistant to every other element. So fire, lightning, um, earth, and, uh, and and explosion do not work on them. But yeah, hot dog. Uh, they also drop rain cloud staffs pretty frequently too. So shouldn't be any much worries about that. So let's cast uh, Crackling. They'll probably end up getting a few attacks on us. Yeah, there's a Cryo Herald spell ability so they'll that it's a line attack that hits everyone um if justin has um uh, his ice attack ice slash which i might get if i end up uh, hitting these guys with the uh, howl maybe they, they'll they probably get killed though i think i've shown off crackling before but It's not bad, eh? They're supposed to drop it frequently. Uh, they did drop it for me just there. Whatever. But they're the enemy that's going to drop rain. Well, there's another enemy that also drops rain cloud staffs as well. I want one for Justin just because. And if we get enough of them, we can stash them and sell them for later because they sell for like two grand per thing. But yeah, the this game has two, multiple discs, and this is the final man egg of this disc. So, um, 
Uh, uh, we'll have to wait later. So, yeah, not quite halfway through the game yet. Oh, yeah, I guess I should actually use water to heal myself. So I'm not, uh, so I'm taking advantage of, uh, even though I didn't really get hurt that much, but still got to remember my own, my own tactics. So, all right, let's go over here, get some more, more items. Oh, that guy didn't want to fight, huh? It's just like the ghosts or whatever, where they just kind of spear. Ooh. I want to get more rain cloud staffs. One for one for Justin and Sue. Now yeah, let me get a uh, Hal. Actually, I probably could have. Actually, nah, never mind. I was thinking for a second maybe I could uh, just cast Hal instead of Hal slash, but. Oh. You. Yeah, not enough to get him at a level. Luckily, this doesn't take very long. All the time. I'll probably start cutting the rest of the battles out, but especially when. Anyway, her water leveled up and she learned Resurrect, so now we don't need. There it is. <laughs> Pretty easy. Now we don't need. A... Well, unless she dies, we don't need. A... We don't need res potions anymore. Yeah, one more win and we'll get the next level. Because uh, I'll lock quite a few abilities for Justin when I get his wind level up to 10. Alright, let's uh, look at this wind oh, rain cloud staff. Or the rain staff, anyway. Yeah, it's because it's got water tribute and you can use it as an item to snooze people. So that'll be more useful here if we're just going to try to be leveling up our weapons or whatever. Yeah, this has probably got the craziest, like, overarching. Um, musical theme for this place just because of the, it being part of the uh, the festival or whatever. But anyway, get a blue potion over here. Blue wizard takes the blue potion. But anyway, 20 MP to, on all levels to all parties. Nice. Yeah, for an area that has multiple like group multiple groups of people, they would they, you think this place would be more dangerous for Justin and uh, Fina because they're by themselves. But no, not really. We can handle this. No problem. Yeah, I gotta get that. Get me some howl levels so I can. Uh... Yeah, look how look how fast our crackle almost went because she almost went. Looked like took a toad almost instantly. There we go. We learned cold and crackling, and ice slash. Yeah, I got three abilities. So ice slash is gonna be really useful here, especially against the boss. So if you don't have it, obviously it's not a big deal, but if you do get Ice Slash, it'll help out quite a bit. Actually, let's show it off. We'll have been a, I don't know, defense or something like that, just to show off Ice Slash, even though I'm gonna be using it quite a few times in the future. Freeze. What a cinch. Yeah, did you see that crazy dodge of Dustin? Jeez. Just dodged halfway across the map there. Alright. Uh, let's see. Okay. I was looking at something really quick, but anyway. Yeah, what our, our main plan is to basically find a way to not leave this place per se, but to find an access to get a hold of uh, uh, Sue and Gadwin. But all right, I'm gonna start cutting out battles now. All right, Pina gained a level, so she got a nice uh, strength boost finally. So, but she'll never get catch up to Justin though. But oh yeah, I forgot to mention why she uh, Sue's cat or Sue Fina's casting spells so fast is because she has the uh, that one uh, item I got. I uh, forgot the name. The Eye Stone. The uh, Demon Eye Stone increases your speed for casting spells by quite a high amount. That's why she's almost instantly getting her spells off. So and I could probably avoid quite a few of these guys. Oh, yeah. The money we get here is um, 150 gold pieces for regular, uh, for regular bags at this point. There's the other. I almost missed that one. All right. Here we get... 
a defense seed. Now you're probably wait, uh, wondering why I went all the way over here, because the uh, map eventually leads back to where we were, just were. Uh, I just want to grab those items. I thought that'd be the fastest way to grab them. Yep. And if we go down this way, we'll end up... Let's see, I forgot how far it was to get back down. There it is. See? Yeah, make sure to get all the treasure here before you fight, uh, beat the boss, because it is a it is a case of the level is lost as soon as you uh, as soon as you uh, beat the boss. So keep that in mind. So make sure to get as many range staffs as you can. Uh, the bags here they give 450 for the big bags. So all right, gained an uh, earth level and uh, earth level for Fina and a wind level for Justin. I also got uh, two more um, uh, rain staffs. So yeah, stack up on those if you can. Then you can stash them at the at the base and uh, sell them for later. And show off the dungeon thing here, dungeon scope. Anyway, we head into the next area. It won't be too long until uh, till, uh, Fina and Justin get some help, but uh, until then, uh, we some plant life lives here. Good thing we're more resistant to uh, to uh, fire than we realize. But, uh, why do I need to knock that thing down? Well, we'll back, be back in a second. Ah, we got n new enemies here. Nope. We got this item as well. Got the snooze scroll there. All right. Let's fight our new enemies here. You probably guess what these guys are called being in a fire area, but these are magma men or man. Well, this is a single man, I guess. But anyway, they've got 211 HP, 75 gold, uh, 75 experience drop, 104 gold drop, and they are resistant to fire, lightning, earth, and explosion. But they are weak to uh, wind and, and uh, forest. But they are very weak to water and uh, blizzard type. Um, they're basically just upgrade versions of the the men from the uh, Misty Forest or whatever, so not much different from them. Uh, yeah, can't really think of anything. Yeah, similar to the Rock Man, but anyway. Yeah, usually I'll just use either uh, Crackle or or basically I've been mainly using just House Hal just because it's a uh, you know easier for me to gain experience. See my power for that because it's it you divide if you cast like a cold spell you divide the experience so you don't get as much between the two it's better to just cast one element and level that up more than just uh, uh trying to hit them with their straight up weakness Take this. unless you don't care about uh about leveling up something whatever obviously blue crack will be the way to go uh oh when to level it up again uh they also drop rain cloud staffs for the uh, uh, these guys too. I mean, they'll probably go instantly. Yep. A wind blow them away. Yeah, Hal's just such a useful ability. Just because it hits so many people. <laughs> Pretty easy. Oh, and the, none of the people have, here have a particularly strength or immunity or weakness to, like, weapons. So hit them with whatever. But obviously the suggestion is rain cloud staffs for Sue and Justin. Uh, or the hail bow if you've got that. Fina, the, uh, the Azure knife if you actually got... Uh, if you kept or bought one of those. But, like I said, I don't think the money is worth spending on that. Even though it's not that costly, but really I don't think it's really worth, worth messing with it, so... I think I'll wait till I get Sue and Gadwin to start trying to farm uh, rain cloud staffs. So, anyway, yeah, why do I have to push this thing? There's really no reason to, right? Uh, if I drop it there, we'll burn up and die. Okay, but yeah, we have to push this rock here to, to get to the. Let's see what it does. All right, if we're strong enough, apparently we're strong enough. So, a little bowling, huh? Well then, what the other way? Money up there. We must get it somehow. I don't know. Just <laughs> this music's just crazy for this area. Look, Sue, Justin, and Fina are over there. I guess they are. We finally found them. Hello, Justin, Fina. Hey, how'd you guys get here so fast? Did you get catapulted as well? We'll never know. They never explained. <laughs> 
Ah, Gablet, Sue. You came here for us. It's only fitting. We can't let you do be sacrificed, can we, Gadwin? Yes, at any rate, if we defeat the fire dragon at the summit, everything should be resolved. Great, then let's do it. Let's go, everyone. Sorry, our controller went a little wonky. Yeah, the controller I used for this is... Had better days. But anyway, now that Sue's here, we can either equip her with the uh, hail bow or the uh, rain staff. Uh, probably, probably better for hail bow, but I'll probably keep... Uh, well, let's see. What's her move set at right now? Overall, if you want, like I said, if you really want to focus on Sue, probably Bo would probably be her strongest, the best one to actually use overall. Um, yeah, uh, okay, maybe, maybe the bow, even though the bow is weaker, but it'll give a range. So, yeah, that is a little bit of a loss, but yeah, that won't hurt us too badly. And for Gadwin, you could give him whatever. Uh, you can give him the Dragon Killer or. I mean, I guess you could have used the swordfish while Justin's using the other weapon if you want to. Dragon Killer will actually be useful here uh, when we when we fight the boss. I mean, because they said we're going to fight a dragon, right? So, there you go. Alright, anyway, let's take a look at the dungeon scope here. Really not much to go off on, uh, huh? But, anyway. Okay, so... Um, let us go... Let's go back the way Sue and Gadwin came by towards the base because there's treasures this way you could easily miss if you decide to go straight to the boss because if you don't know any better the all right uh um sue gained another earth level and we dropped two more rain cloud staffs like i said they'll drop a lot i think the reason their drop rate so high is that you're not you're not kind of not uh screwed out of out of this dungeon if you're not prepared so they give you an item that specifically is useful against the enemies here so uh, for Sue, I want to eventually get her Earth up to. Um... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, I forgot to t talk about this last episode. I got Sue enough Earth and Fire to get her the Fight uh, Cheer command, which what it does is it attacks up everyone in the party by casting it. So not bad actually. That's why Sue's a pretty good support class overall. But uh... Uh, I want to get her Earth to get uh, Earth six so we can get defense loss from her. So it'll help her get her. Uh... Uh, earth ability up so that way because it's easier to cast death death loss and stuff like that than anything than trying to hit him with tremor especially yeah though i'll admit it's a little hard to get uh um uh, sue her uh levels up because fina is so fast and justin gets his turn pretty quickly too but oh well what can you do maybe we go up here get some money mo money mo money mo money mr boss soul I, re I forgot to fin finish my thought before, but if you don't know about how this dungeon, that it automatically finishes when you when you beat the boss. It could kind of be a, a jerk move for you know, it kicks you out of this place. You can never come back. So, yeah. All right, Sue gained a level. She actually got some decent strength finally, <laughs> and wit, which she'd been needing very badly, but. Well, Sue's always been a support character, no matter how you build her. She can't get attack spells and stuff like that. It's just, you know, the way she just seems to be set up, seems to scream. Kind of like with Fina's, mainly, she can attack, but she's mainly a spellcaster for the most part, so. Now, if you go over here, get yeah, over here. Yeah, I got a treasure bit. Oh, it's a magma man, or man, even though they're technically men. But, yeah. And anyway, we get the chain gem here. Let's take a look at that. All right, the chain gem. This is a gem that gives you a possibility to get a combo attack. So you usually get like two attacks. There's a chance to get three attacks. This is a really nice item. Yeah, it's low, but the fact you could possibly lose this if you're not paying attention is kind of heartbreaking when you think about it. So you usually want to go to your uh, fighter like uh, like uh, Justin. It would, although it would be if you can get Gadwin to get his turn, uh, give it to him would be a bad idea. Because you can actually get multiple like one sh uh, shots, but the thing is, Justin's almost catching up to to Gadwin in terms of damage. But I'll give it to Gadwin for now. Uh, Justin and Fina gained wind levels, and Sue gained an earth level from that one. Yeah, we're getting we're getting levels like uh, magic levels like mad. Yeah, no levels there. Oh well. Da. Ah. Get away from me, man. Anyway, we actually want to get past these guys. Because there's an item over there. 
Hey, even without the Aqua Knife, uh, Fina seems to be really taking it to these people with their knife attacks. Probably because of how high her knife level is. And it's got decent strength now and everything. All right, you got a fire and throw level for uh, Sue during that fight with Puffy Fire. Because even though the, as long as it hits some guys, it still gets, she still gets the experience for it, despite everything. Whoops, went down the wrong, wrong way. Oh, huh, look at that. If only we could get back. Yeah, that's the. Uh, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else I can get around here. Nope. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Or, go back, I mean. That's it for this general area. I, uh, though I do need to go back to the safe spot to heal because I'm out of magic now that I've been... Because Sue's ran out of level 2 spells. Because I've been trying to use that to get Tremor until she gets to level 6. That way, then I can eventually give her... Uh, um, defense loss. That way, I can just cast that and hit everyone in the group instead of having to target with, uh, with uh, Tremor all the time. So... All right, I guess the easiest, let's see, well, now let's get the treasure here and then go the other way, so. Oh yeah, I also got another rain cloud uh, 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 staff as well, so. Whoops. Yeah, you could get hurt by this as a trap. So obviously give uh, whoever needs to heal there. I haven't been getting hurt too much, so it's not a big deal. Uh, Justin's mace and uh, wind level went up. By the way, you, you, it'd be surprised to tell you, Gadolin's actually not very good here because most of his abilities are fire or earth based and his weapon attack isn't actually having the same punch because he doesn't have the uh, elemental uh, tributes. There's no weapon we have that you, that you can give him that'll help him with... Uh, uh, oh, by the way, this to take us to an area that's just isolated. There's You can't like get anywhere from that spot, so don't even mess with it. But uh, yeah, Gadwin, that, that's how they make a character who's as strong as Gadwin kind of weak in certain cases because of how specialized he is. He can't really do much of anything else. So um, I think I'll go, I think I might go back and heal really quick. Not that I need to heal it. I just mainly need Sue to get her spells back. So uh, I'll be back here in a second. Let me transfer over. You know where the uh, healing spot is, so. But I'll take it to the. I'll transfer to the next map, but you know where it is, so. Okay, we're back. I just, like I said, I only did so Sue could get her spells, so that way. I mean, there will be a safe spot right before the boss, but like I said, I want Sue to get her earth levels up a bit just so I can cast defense loss, so. I'm surprised everyone's not sweating up a storm here or whatever. You know, with that close. With how close they are to lava, I'm surprised their clothes aren't spontaneously combusting. Yep. That looks like we got some ghost. Uh, Got to get that money, man. Whoa! Of course, it doesn't help with Gadwin only getting one experience per uh, per weapon striking against enemies here. But yeah, this place really shows Gadwin's like him being slow really really hurts his potential. He's just he just doesn't have the wit. Anyway, let's see. We got a couple hot dogs, hot dog magma men, and a bunch of Hot dogs around there, I'll take care of them. All right, Fina gained a knife level and uh, um, Sue gained a earth level, enough to get a defense loss, so now we can start casting that because it's a level one ability and it, yeah, it just hits all targets. Well, usually it hits all targets. Some enemies are more resistant to it, like the uh, um, Lost Souls are hard to hit with this, so. Um, let's see, how's her weapon level doing? She's not getting a ton of experience anymore. Well, it wouldn't help much more, but knife hurl really helps. Or, sorry, random hurl really helps to get her knife levels up because it hits multiple targets. So, with the knife. And as long as it does some damage, it counts as experience. So, but she's still a uh, little, little, little bit behind whip, so we'll stick with knife for now. If I was using the Azure knife, that'd be more reason to use the knife here, but. Alright, I guess we're. Yeah, Mace. Let's see. I should, probably should still have her do Mace, even though Bow is more useful just because. Look at all the rain steps I got. Yeah, I gotta take advantage of that while I can. Like I said, they sell for a decent amount. And we can't uh, come back here later, so. Alright, we'll get the money there. And our lost souls. Let's go over this way, though. We can get an item. And some more hot dogs. Alright, gained another earth level for Sue. Uh, she gained uh, the uh, boom spell. Yeah, now she can do that, except this is not really the best place for that, but hey, that'll work. 
Uh, because, you know, obviously. And I guess really the next bet, I don't even know if I, obviously, we'll see uh, how long it takes to get her up to these levels. <laughs> but because of the way the enemy situation works here, it's fine, so. In the game, just how they work with, okay, we got some hot dogs and that, I'll take care of those guys. All right, Gadwin gained an earth level, Fina gained a water level, and Justin gained a wind level. Uh, weirdly enough, the, well, I guess not weirdly enough, Magma Mints are so susceptible to snooze, and like everyone else here, you can hit them with snooze and then with all the debuff abilities like defense loss or freeze actually works on most of the enemies here because it, all it does is lowers their movement, but for the Magma Mint, that could be fairly helpful. For the Hot Dogs, they just, all they have to do is do their fire breath on you, and that doesn't kind of make that pointless, but... Still, it's a thought that counts. But, huh. How do we get over there, though? There's, like, some type of treasure, but we have no, like, rocks or stones or anything to fall over, fall over there. Yeah, we'll remember that for later, I guess. So. Okay, just check and see if anything else I missed. Uh, ties back around, so, okay. Alright, right, anyway, let's uh, make our way back this way. Sometimes it's hard not to just watch. Oops. Turn around there. Yeah, now we need to go back. Uh oh. No, the last. He just goes, nope! He noped right out of there, huh? Not these guys, though. Alright, those lost hills for nothing for us. But anyway, let me go back really quick. I feel like I should have been able to get the item so soon. There must be something there that we're missing. But where is it? Well, if we go over here, yeah, there's a little treasure, but there's a little secret here, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, I should show that off. We'll, we'll show it off here in a second. Yeah, I showed Gadwin and everyone crawling around on their, uh, uh, like, up the sloop or whatever. Let's see if I can show it off. Yeah, you don't get to see the crawl animation for Gadwin too often, as you can see there. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, that's how you get this item. Yeah, it's easy to miss the first time. So anyway, yeah, it's a fire charm. But now we got three fire charms if you're really worried about fire here. So if you didn't buy the uh, uh, dragon armor, you can get attacked by ghosts. Oh yeah, the ghosts have an ability called Ghost Touch where they hit you with like a, like kind of like a mini fireball or something like that. Not the two. Yeah, I mean, they're, no, I, I like the design for the enemies. There's just not much to them though. You know what I mean? But anyway, let's head on to the volcanic crater. This is the final section of this map. Alright. Oh, we're almost there. Oh, yeah, I guess I should heal with someone. Uh, how, how are our magicals doing? Yeah, hitting snooze with the Magma is really helping, too, so. I probably should give it to Sue. I've just been using her for defense loss, though. Yeah, that's fine. We're almost near the safe spot, anyway, so. And there's more Magma of course. Yeah, these areas are really starting to give us a lot more experience in terms of, like, uh, everything. So we're starting to almost gain more levels more frequently now, so... Oh, never mind, I didn't get hit. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that Justin earned, learned, uh, um, ooh, we can jump over there. But let's get to the save point first. Yeah, again, we'll gain another Earth level here. So let's get... Yeah, we're almost at the top, tippy top of this place. Yeah, I want to get to the save spot so I can heal myself from ghosts! Yeah, Lost Souls are so easy. The only problem is there's really... I was about to say before I so rudely interrupted, uh, the, the Lost Souls, yeah, are cool looking, but uh, because of how weak they are and how resistant they are to uh, status afflictions, I can't really grind off them. It's easier to do it against the Magma Men, really. Yeah. Anyway, we get a health weed here. Or, yeah. Let's see if I can avoid them. Nope. All right, Justin gained a level from that, so yeah, strength score keeps going up, baby. Soon, no one will be. Soon, he'll be able to catch up with Gadwin. He's actually not too far off. So, and by the, the rate he's going, even when he ever hits uh, Gadwin's level, he'll be stronger than Gadwin. A 14-year-old is about to be stronger than a 37-year-old man. Is that insane or not? But anyway, let's get the money over here. All right, let's heal. I said, not that I needed to. I'm just, you know. Want to take advantage of my uh... Oh, no more. 
I'm on level for you. Yeah, well, just to take advantage of uh, appeal and everything like that, because the boss is right below there, so let's run back to that other spot. And get that little jumpy spot, because it uh, has an item over there. Okay, so, uh, uh, I was about to say something, but now I forgot. Oh yeah, we got another fire charm for the, uh, for the ghost there, so, or the lost soul, sorry. Okay. Yeah, apparently we can just hop, skip, and a jump, and then, boom, there we go. So. They get a bit ambushed again. Alright, got another rain staff. Uh, Nina got another, uh, another knife level, and, uh, Gadwin getting another earth level. Yeah, he's getting quite a few earth levels here. Might be able to learn his, uh, uh, Maybe even learn like his final abilities, maybe. Although I still need to learn some fire, but this isn't really the best place to cast fire magic, you know, so. Anyway, if we get this, we get it. Get a dragon scale, all right. What does the dragon scale do? Let's take a look. Dragon scale, it prevents damage below 10 HP. So if you uh, have a decent amount of Defense or whatever, if it goes, if it goes, if any of your magic would eventually be under 10 or not magic, any uh, damage be under 10, it will do nothing. So that's not bad, depending on what the monster you fight or how strong you are, how what resistance you've got. So, it's not something I quit regularly, but. Man, I love fighting Magma, man. I got, I think I, everything went up like one level for everyone or something like that. Uh, yeah, Gadwin's sword went up. Uh, no, I, think, I think his earth abilities did. I think Fina's water level went up as well. Justin's uh, water level went up, I believe. Um, and then Sue's uh, earth level went up for sure. So, yeah. It's just because you can keep casting like a bunch of stats afflictions on them over and over and over again. And if you hit them at the right time, you can cast snooze on them again and get the credit for hitting them with snooze again as soon as they wake up. You know, you can hit them with freeze, you know, and a defense loss and all this stuff. Makes up just a nice little chunk of uh, experience for your spells, so because of how susceptible they are to basically everything. So, all right, now that we've uh, now that we made it to the top here, time to fight ourselves a dragon. So let's go ahead and give uh, uh, Gadwin the dragon killer. Although he might not be doing much attacking during this fight, to tell you the truth, uh, he's mainly more of a. I don't know if I don't want to say put him as a, a, a buff almost like just to help the party more than actually uh, which is kind of weird for for Gadwin but that's just how it is in this case so yeah, let's heal up a bit just to get the water experience okay cover all right let's do this actually I think I'm good uh, obviously uh, if you want to be super susceptible have a rain staffs on uh, Justin and Sue Fina have her give her the azure knife if you've got it Gadwin, the dragon killer, if you're going to have him be an attacker in this fight. Uh, other than that, there's really not much else. Maybe fire charms uh, on all of your party members, although I don't think I'll need to worry about that. I've got plenty of healing anyway, so well, let's do it. Yeah, changed, uh, changed, uh, <laughs> it forced perspective to us, so. <laughs> what? It's hot. Is it because of that fellow over there? Justin, that looks like the fire dragon that causes Gumbo to suffer. Hey, look, I'm not so easily sacrificed. Justin, don't be caught off guard. Look, it's coming this way. Will you be caught off guard? For boss time, it gets Madragon himself. All right, let's take a look at this guy. So, Madragon, he has two parts. He has his uh, body piece and his head piece. Though they share the same health bar, so he can ha attack either one. Um, the body has its own set of abilities, which has the ability to uh, attack you uh, in a, all around you. And I think that's pretty much it for the, uh, the dragon overall. In terms of his body piece, I mean. Um, his head piece, though, uh, could do uh, flame breath, howl slash, and burn. I believe the body can also heal as well, which is a 100, 100 heal for, uh, both, uh, for himself. I was about to say both, but it doesn't matter. They shall share the same health pool. So the head is the most dangerous of them because of what it can do uh, overall. So you want to hit it with multiple attacks over and over and over again to basically cause an IP loss so it can't get its turn. Um, the Madragon has 21, uh, 2,150 HP, drops 3,350 experience, 4,500 gold, 
Uh, it's not effective or no weapons are stronger or weak against it. It doesn't have any immunities or anything with that. It is a, in terms of weapons. In elemental weakness, it's immune to fire. So uh, do not cast fire on it. Although, it, weirdly, it could be affected by explosion. Okay. That must be a weird uh, uh, bug in the system or something like that. Anyway, it's also resistant to lightning and earth and forest. It is particularly weak to wind, water, and ice. So, uh, there's a couple ways you can do this fight. Obviously, you could have Gadwin go straight for the body to help with, with damage. If you don't want to have him a damage character, uh, you could have him cast light like, defense loss and, uh, and use any strategies therein to assist with the boss more than anything because his uh, attacks don't do any damage. Well, his regular, so you could either save him for criticals to knock the head if you want him to wait. You could also cast uh, Fly Cut because that'll actually, um, uh, that, that it does have an elemental weakness. The Dragon Cut, despite the fact that he can be hit by explosion abilities, his, his Dragon Cut doesn't do that much damage overall. So I wouldn't even mess with it. So that's up to you how you want to do this. So I think I'm going to have Gadwin be a... Uh, uh, debuffer in this fight, but that's up to you how you want to do it. Uh, obviously with Fina, cast Crackle or or any buff spells. Really, we don't need buff spells during this fight, to tell you the truth. Um, you could, like, cast, like, Speedy or something like that if you've got it this time. But I'm just going to assume you don't have uh, have this, and we're going to just keep smacking him with uh, Ice Magic to... Uh... Oh, power of ice! Actually, casting Speedy wouldn't be bad because it would improve our wit a bit. Give everyone their turns faster. Yeah, keep hitting the head. Body will, body will eventually get its turns, but um, but the head is the more dangerous since it does more damage overall. So, and then Sue, you could have her. You could have her like uh, cheer up the party to do uh, like get extra damage for Justin, or have her cast defense loss as well, depending on how you built her, or have her attack. So, I think I'll, I'll show off the fight command. Show off what that does. Actually, let's have uh, Justin use Ice Slash on the head. Come on, everyone! Ah! She goes all cheerleader on him, and yeah, casts basically Wow on the whole party. Noise. Yeah, we canceled it because it's a cancel ability on there. So um, they could do Rain of Hurl, but that wouldn't really do much. Yeah, look how higher levels are now. Like spells, like all our level one spells are starting to be even without the item, they are going almost immediately. So, which is crazy when you think about it. So yeah, let's just keep hitting with Crackle. This will teach you. I right, said, so if you have the knife, you could have her physically attack too, if you want, or have her use knife hurl all the time would be a bad idea. So, all right, let's see. Yeah, I guess we don't really need to do uh, that multiple times on here. So let's uh, keep. Yeah, let's hit him with defense loss again, just to. Well, he's about to get his turn. Might have her. Might have her go on critical. Uh, uh, critical hit to. Uh, Help with that, maybe. I chose to show off uh, uh, Gadwin's damage when he just regularly hits with uh, with the Dragon Killer. Yeah, you see, it was like 170 something damage or something crazy like that. So, now let's keep using. Uh... Oh, I'm at... oh, I forgot. I only have enough SP for that. Dang it. Oh well, that's not a big deal. I was hoping I'd have enough SP for for multiple attacks, but yeah, we could cast Crackle too. Yeah, you can kind of, uh, I, I might be a bit OP for this fight at this point. Yeah, 160 damage is not bad. He's about to get his attack in. Can I crit him? Because unfortunately magic does not cancel attacks. Ah, nope. Didn't get off in time. Oh well. Oh, no, no one got hit. Because <laughs> we were out of his range. But the body did hit us. Okay, I was wondering if I could get through this whole fight without taking, without doing any dam, uh, having any damage done to me. Oh well. Not bad damage overall. Yeah, let's just melee him. Do that. Do the whole done for. Oh, so we're gonna fi who's gonna finish him off to get the quote? 
I think it was Sue. Like master, like man. Oh, Gadwin did it. Oh. Ah, well, there you go. I got I got to show Gadwin's uh, unique boss. Uh, uh, it's only on certain bosses, too. Not all bosses give you that unique command or uh, comment at the end. So, all right, look at that. Nice chunk of nice chunk of experience. Even Gadwin gained a level. Wahoo! Wow, he even gained two points of strength. All right. Probably because of the Earth levels I've been getting. So. Yeah, yeah, wow, Fina got three points of uh, strength. She's barely stronger than Sue. Yes, we did it! <laughs> Indeed, Justin. Now Justin and Fina don't have to be sacrificed. Uh, Justin, what's that glittering? Look, look over there, too. Huh? What, Fina? I see. These are the same things we saw at Typhoon Tower. Oh. Oh, yeah. Those spirits or whatever. Or wisps or whatever you want to call them. Uh-oh. Wow. What's happening? The volcano has come back to life. It will start to erupt right away. Yikes. This is crater here. If it erupts, we'll all be sacrificed. No more I sacrificed. Uh-huh. No time for... Uh, no time for word games. If we don't get out of it quickly, we'll all be toast. All right. Run! Yeah, I can't, uh... I was trying to go to my menu so I could heal, so I could get some experience for Sue. Because I think we'll be auto-healed after this. Alright. Now let's go and recover anyway, even though I don't really need to. Because we fought every single monster on here, so... Alright, time to run back. Man, we have to go through all through this dungeon. Oh, this... By the way, this area is just called the Volcano. There's no, like, Volcano... Not no unique name for it or anything like that. Oh well. That seems to be taking a while for this thing to erupt. Giving us plenty of time to run out of here, I guess. Alright. How do we escape anyway? And wasn't the way to leave this place blocked off? Hmm. Look, the volcano's erupting! Oh dear. Well, has the volcano come to life again? We had better hurry to the base. Let's go, Justin. Yes, Gadwin. Run, run everyone. <laughs> Phew. All right, we made it back to town. All right, well, actually, let me take a look at my inventory. Really. Yep. So I forgot to mention this, but when you beat the boss, he drops the hot whip. It doesn't show on the inventory, weirdly enough. Like, on the screen, they dropped it. He just happens to have it. You might forget you didn't even notice you had it. So let's take a look at that. So hot whip has 30 attack, and it gives you the uh, tri uh, explosion attribute. So not bad. Well, all right. So the we've done it. We've saved the town of uh, Gumbo, and now everyone can be couples forever. We truly are a brave couple. What will this represent? What will, how will the people treat us now that we save their uh, their town? And can we make it to the Twin Towers that we were originally here to begin with? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Grandia. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.